is a psychological alien horror thriller whatever you want to call it is fantastic that's a hulu original i think it's also streaming on disney plus and star plus in other countries so if you're not in america you don't have hulu check over there but this was the best film that i watched all last week compared to all that other shit that i just posted (laughs) this was the best now this movie is about a girl Bryn, played by caitlin dever who I've never seen Dever before in anything, and right after seeing this movie, I instantly had to look up something else she was in, and that led me to watching the series Dope Sick on uh, Hulu, which I said to myself, if she can kill it in a movie, because she, she's the whole movie here. I mean, also the aliens and stuff, but she she's leads this entire film. And without saying anything, I said, if she can kill a movie in a role like that i gotta see something where she actually talks <laughs> and she kills it in dope sick too in that miniseries so great great actress here but she plays Bryn, and she lives in the country in her childhood home and she lost both her mother and her best friend maud the town f- people seem to not like her and you find out why near the end but she ends up getting visited and trying to be abducted by extraterrestrials. Now, I love me some aliens. Like, I'm so happy to see in that poll of what, uh, I use the word documentary very, very loosely here. (laughs) But like what I did for the Mothman, like that two-hour documentary, quote-unquote, alien abductions is winning the poll for the next one. Cool. Because this is a good lead into that subject matter. I love aliens. I believe they absolutely exist. I believe that they've been on this planet, that they are on this planet. That's one conspiracy theory that I am gung-ho all the way for. And surprisingly, they don't make a lot of good horror films or movies in general, really, about aliens nowadays. I can't remember the last good alien movie. And now I don't say alien as in any creature from another planet or like, I mean like, grays like it's it's supposed to be what we think of when we think of aliens and in this case yeah it's the gray aliens that we see most commonly so i mean we get a lot of like creatures from another planet that look nothing like you know human beings or or grays or anything they just look like monsters and stuff i'm not talking that i'm talking just like straight what we think of as aliens or what people have described allegedly what they've seen when abducted by aliens or having sightings. An interesting and risky thing for this movie is there is no dialogue aside from, I think, five words throughout this whole film. So Dever's performance is just even more just awe-inspiring that she just has to run the gamut of emotions here, of fear and panic and loss and grief and mourning for her friend and her mother and stuff that she's been going through before all this crazy alien stuff happens. Everything that she does in this movie is, is just brilliant. The look of the aliens, really cool in this. Like they, Like I said, they look like gray aliens, but they tweak it a bit as the movie goes on. Some of these things grow arms that are like 20 feet long and they're chasing them at the speed of a cheetah. Like, <laughs> There's some wild sequences in this movie. The atmosphere is fantastic. There's tension throughout all of this because you don't know what's going to happen to this girl. Like, <laughs> You don't know if she's going to get abducted or if she's going to get killed or if she's going to kill these aliens. And she's one tough girl, man, let me say that. She puts up one hell of a fight against these extraterrestrials there's some definite vibes of like invasion of the body snatchers especially when they show other town folk that have been taken over they have like this parasite that they put into people and it allows the aliens to control them so again very body snatchers but it's awesome it's very well done The sound design and cinematography are both excellent in this movie. All the sounds that the aliens make, the clicking, and all those sounds, it's brilliant. Like, listen to this movie with headphones if you get a chance, because I didn't get to, but I'm sure it would be much more immersive. And yeah, the cinematography is just beautiful in this. Like, all the exterior shots of the house, the farm she's on, looks like a farm. Rural homeland that she resides on looks great also a cool little detail with the design of the aliens 
when she first gets initially visited by the first alien and the one she ends up killing with and i like the fact that she like since she's so lonely and like everyone in town hates her she builds a model of the town like that's what she does like just to kill time i guess and she ends up killing him with a piece of her fake town there when he's initially starting to look for her and she goes under the bed in her room it hops on the bed then it hops on the floor and she can see its feet and then i don't even know how to describe it it kind of, their feet like grow like tippy toes <laughs> and like make it like raise higher in height like there's a lot of cool stuff like that like little creative things that you don't see in alien movies another thing i really like about this is there's a lot of stuff in this film that people who allegedly you know report getting abducted by ufos or visited by aliens there's a lot of stuff in here that you hear in a lot of those testimonies from alleged abductees and stuff like that like the the way that it interrupts with all the electronics and everything and the the psychic energy that the aliens have and that they're able to control things telepathically like all of that is used excellently here i mean none of that's really heavy spoilers but a little bit of spoilers here on out just for like the ending and stuff so she gets taken over briefly by the parasite that they stick inside her, and that's a great sequence, too. Like, when they have her levitating in the air, and the alien just puts this this crazy Lovecraftian-looking, just insect, whatever, <laughs> inside, and it goes inside her mouth. All of that looks great. And then she ends up getting, like, a doppelganger that they turn that parasite after she spits it out and gets it out of her. And she ends up getting stabbed by herself in a way and then we see when they're probing around in her brain what really happened with her and her friend Maud that we see her writing to at the beginning and that she's obviously very grief stricken over and they show the flashback and they had some type of fight Bryn got knocked to the ground by Maud and Maud hit her with a with a rock and killed her and this is why the whole town doesn't talk to her and she's ostracized and everything so then we have the ending where we see her dancing with people to the same song that she's dancing to in her house by herself at the very beginning. So she's not controlled by the aliens anymore, but the rest of the town is. So it's a pretty bleak and cool ending <laughs> that she had to confront her, you know, her past and what she did to her friend, killed a friend. But in the end, after like going through all this crazy shit and pretty much like besting the aliens in any way that you can, now the town loves her because <laughs> they were all taken over by and controlled by the aliens. So it has a great ending. This movie is gorgeous looking. The performance by her, like I said, Dever, is, is fantastic. The sound design's excellent. The design of the aliens, the cool little things that they add to them just to make them a little more stand out and unique than your typical alien. The directing's great. Everything I loved about this movie. So if there's any movie out of the three I posted today to go watch, if you haven't, go see this movie. Like, absolutely get Hulu or whatever thing it's streaming on and give this one a watch, especially if you're an Aliens fan. If you're a fan of Aliens and extraterrestrials and UFOs and all that stuff, you'll most likely just love the shit out of this movie. So that's No One Will Save You from 2023, Hulu exclusive. Hulu's been getting some decent stuff lately. Like, I don't watch Hulu often, but I'll renew it every now and then. And I've been watching some decent stuff on there. So I gotta say, Hulu props for everything recently. Definitely check this one out. This is a great movie. So, alright guys, I'll try to have something out for late night, because it'll pr most likely it'll be a full, you know, discussion video. Till then, wherever you guys are from, hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or night, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.